Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's hatch the designated area. So in my previous video, you saw how to create a designated area by different ways. Now here we will try to hatch it. So if you have not seen that yet, then the link is given below in the description area and it will also come at the end of this video. So do watch that video to understand it better. Now since designated area is a quilt feature, we cannot hatch it directly in the part. So to hatch it, we need to go to the drawing. So I have these two designated area here and I'll try to hatch it inside the drawing. So let's go to the drawing. Now if you have multiple designated area inside your part and these designated areas are overlapping to each other, then you can clean it by hiding some of the designated area from the drawing view. For example, this view and this view both are having designated area 1 and designated area 2. So suppose in this view, I want to keep designated area 1 and in this view, I want to keep only the designated area 2. So this can be done by using the layers and for this, first you go to layer management, select the layer tree. Now here in this drop down list, you have the drawing and you have the part. So if you select dot PRT, then you have the part layer. And if you select the DRW, then you have the drawing layer. Now since these items are created in the part, you need to select the part layer. Then create two layers. Just go for new layer. The layer name, I will take DA1, designated area 1. And I will select the first area. And I will say OK. Similarly, one more layer. This time, this is DA2. And I will select the second area. I will say OK. So I have created two layers, DA1 and DA2. Now using this, I will hide unnecessary area from that two views. So once you have created these two layers, go to setting, drawing layer status and change this option to yes. Layer is controlled separately in the drawing, say ok. Now you go to this arrow, this is active layer object selection. Select this and select the view. Once the view is selected, Hide this layer, once again go to this and this time you select this view. Hide this layer, so now in this view you have the designated area 1 and in this view you have the designated area 2. Now the same technique can be followed for several other items including cosmetic sketch and cosmetic groove. So whenever you go to this arrow and select any view, you get that view name highlighted here. So if you click here, you have three new names in this list. These three new names are these three view names. So now you can control these three views individually. Now once this is done, come back to your original drawing. So to learn about active layer object selection, you can watch my another video where I have explained the drawing layer management in detail. The link will be given in the description area and it will also come at the end of this video. Now the next thing is hatching the designated area. So if you have a flat designated area, you can easily hatch it. But if you have a curved designated area, you cannot hatch it. So let's hatch the flat designated area. And for that, move your cursor to the required designated area. Right click till your area get highlighted. And once it is highlighted, select it. Then go to hatch and fill, give the name, so I will take name as A. Now here, go to spacing, say half and say done. Now the same thing if you try for a curved designated area, you just right click till the area get highlighted. So it is highlighting, select it, but after selection, the hatch fill does not highlight. That means hatch is not allowed for this area. So now if you go back to your part, you have your designated area as it is. So that hatch is not reflecting here. But if you go to your drawing, you will have that hatch here. So this was hatching the designated area and in next video hatching the projected cosmetic sketch onto a curved surface. So this was the hatching of designated area in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.